to South Korea. It was a little bit of a rough start in the beginning. I got at the airport, got my SIM card from Klopp, exchanged some money, that was fine. I bought an Airbus ticket or airport bus ticket from a machine, that was fine, but I silly me didn't read what time the bus came and I didn't want to wait like two and a half hours, so I ended up doing cacao taxi. That's when I got lost in translation. I only know very limited Korean and they do call your phone number and start talking to you Korean, of course. So the words I didn't know were like, I'm sorry, I don't know how to speak Korean. Yanamnida, Hangoko Moteo. But I made it. I'm jet lagged. Or I'm gonna be jet lagged, but it's gonna be fine. Check. It's almost 11. I just came back from one of his musical. It's called Equal with an actor, Shin Hyuk Soo. They were both so good. I got third row in the seat, but we weren't able to take pictures. And you know, I'm a big Monster X fan and OT7 Forever with Monho. I had so much fun. I did walk home at night over like 30 minutes because it's so hard to get a taxi, but it felt really safe. A lot of people are still outside. I'm really tired and sweaty. I'm gonna take a shower and then go to sleep. Bye. Wow, well, I gotta watch my mask. <laughs> So it's my second full day in Seoul. I'm gonna head back to Incidon to get some vegan food and then go to one of the palaces, go back and rest, and then head to Itaewon to get more vegan food. and then maybe take a nap and then go to eat table.
I just got back to my hotel. <clears throat> Excuse me, time check, like 11 p.m. Tonight was really nice. I met up with my younger brother who's actually here in Seoul with my cousin. I treated them to some vegan food. And we went to have drinks in Itaewon. Tomorrow I'm going to Super Junior concert. They're my first favorite K-pop band, so I'm really excited. I'm just gonna get some rest. I sound really tired, but today was really fun. And I rode the subway and bus for the first time today. So that was a plus too. Good night.